It's the middle of winter here right now. How are you enjoying our climate change? Oh, it's pretty good. If this is what climate change is about, I'm all for climate change. <laughs> Do you think this is climate change we're experiencing today? It is uh, the middle of it is it the is, middle of winter. Yeah, and it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I am Queensland. standing here in a bikini. <laughs> it's Queensland, beautiful one day, perfect the next. So we're down here with Sam's, just finished running the marathon. How was that? Uh, yeah, once in a lifetime. Uh, uh, yeah. Not to be repeated. No. No, never again. You've not, done it. You can say it. Yeah, not not in the short term, anyway. Oh, where are we off to now? The pub. Uh, yeah, we'll be in the next couple of hours. Pub and a lie down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna head around to the pub. Find me some marathon runners. <laughs> Now Sam, do you know that not only is it the marathon today, but it's also the introduction of the carbon tax? I had heard that, yes. You've heard it? Yes. And how do you feel about it? Are you pro or are you against this carbon tax? Uh, I'm a little bit against it. Why are you a little bit against it? Oh, I just don't agree on the merits of it. So do you know that today is not only the marathon, but it's the introduction of the carbon tax? Oh really? Here we go. Yeah. So you just wrecked my day. Oh, that just ruined your day. Yeah. So what do you think about this carbon tax right now? Well, it's hard to know until I mean you can only you can only kind of uh, listen to the to the politicians and what and the way they dress. And it do up. you think they're telling us the whole truth? Oh well, I guess time will tell. I guess when it, when it's rolled out, um, I mean um, it'll be interesting to see. I think probably already we're seeing increases when you go to the supermarket. Um, I think that I think the groceries have already increased, and I think that's already affecting people, you know, average people. And I, I think maybe that might might further increase as it's rolled out. So in your words, the carbon tax is. Crap. Crap. It's just going to drain Australians working hard all the time and all they do is give, give, give. You know, electricity prices are already going up so you know you, you work an extra 20 hours a week to make a dollar and you lose 10. How do you feel about the carbon tax? I think it's an unnecessary tax that won't really um, do any good. Uh, I'm reasonably certain that uh, no great benefit will come from it and I'm concerned and I think it's uh, a bit of a mystery as to the impact. Dude, does that go in Julia Gillard's pocket or? How do you feel about this carbon tax, Kevin? No, I'm against it. So you're against the carbon tax? I am. Are you in favour of the carbon tax? No way. When you go to other countries, little countries with all this, this pollution, all these stats, all those cars and motorbikes that you will see that are fuming everywhere and you can smell f uh, all this smoke around. You will say, why? Why in a country that doesn't have so huge a population? You need to do something like that. No, not at all, because I think businesses are suffering as it is. I think a lot of them are really on the borderline of collapsing. Anything that would tax them even further is going to send a lot of small business over. And the thing that small businesses, they employ a lot of people, and I think that's what you forget, is that employment is huge. If, some, if small businesses go under, jobs go under as well. So that's Because it's nothing but a tax grab. It's got nothing to do with the environment. Many little countries around the world that are huge polluters, that, that are not doing anything and will not be affected. Oh, I think the uh, carbon tax probably sucks as hard as Julia would. So why do you think they're introducing the carbon tax? Because Julia Gillard's a ranger and she doesn't know what she's doing. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. Do you think that the carbon tax is going to lessen the effects of climate change? No, I don't. At all? No. And do you think that the carbon tax is actually going to lessen the effects of climate change? <laughs> Probably not, no. Do you think that the carbon tax is going to lessen the effects of climate change? In no way. No. I don't think so. You don't think so? Do you think that introducing the carbon tax is going to lessen the effects of climate change? No, I don't believe it will. At all? No. I don't think it's going to make any difference. Yeah, it's just another way to get money from us again. Can't believe they put it in. So do you think that the Australian public were misled by Julia Gillard about the carbon tax? 
uh, in the fact that she lied or just in general with the carbon tax? In general with the carbon tax. Both. She Do you believe that she lied? She lied? Yep, and the effect it's going to have on small business. Yes. Are you a small business owner? I am. Maka, do you think that Julia Gillard misled the Australian public in regards to the carbon tax? I don't think they misled everyone, it was just bullshit from day one. Do you think that the Australian public were misled by Julia Gillard about this carbon tax? Yeah, she hasn't been real clear on it. How so? She just hasn't really told anyone. A lot of people don't even know what it's for. Do you think the carbon tax is going to affect you personally? I think it's going to affect everyone. So how is this carbon tax affecting you as a small business owner? Well, prices are going up, so of course if prices are going up, we're going to put the fees up, and so in the long run, everyone ends up paying double. Well, we all will have to pay more for energy, for petrol, for everything. How are you going to be affected by this, by this uh, carbon tax? <laughs> I don't know exactly. <laughs> I don't know directly. Um, I dare say I'll end up pay, paying more tax. You're, You're watching, watching me on, on Aussie Beach, Beach TV! TV. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. So why do you think we're introducing all these carbon taxes when all the other countries are clearly steering away from the concept? Uh, it sounds a little unfair, doesn't it? Especially when we're supposed to have the uh, number one. Australia's financial position is pretty good at the moment compared to the rest of the world. Why should we be paying a carbon tax that uh, is apparently 25 times higher than in any other government that has implemented it? It's, yeah, it does seem unfair. I think it's a misguided goody two-shoes sort of... Uh green movement attempt at trying to get something happening um, with the right motives but if you look at the reality it's just uh, you know we're a blip on the radar so I don't think anything enduring is going to come from it from our point of view and I don't think it shows any great leadership that, that, that will inspire the um, the US or the European uh, community to follow either. So. Do you think that the world's going to follow Australia? What do you no, think we're sort of out on a limb? No, yeah, I don't think anyone will follow us. It's just because of our um, Greens who are uh, pursuing the Gillard government to do so. Now, why do you think Australia is introducing this carbon tax when all the other countries are steering clear of the concept? Because Julia got into bed with the Greens purely to get into power. <laughs> it's expensive. People can't survive as it is without a carbon tax. Of course, you know, they say we want to set a good example to the rest of the world. What a lot of, what a lot of bunkum. You know, is the rest of the world going to look at us and say we're going to follow what Australia does? They wouldn't even half and wouldn't even know where Australia is. Do you think that Australia is doing it to show the world that we are leading the way in environmentals? Do you think it's a no, no, no? I think it, it sounds good, but uh, no, it's nothing to do. With. Purely for revenue. Purely for revenue. Look at the sky. It's, it's perfect blue sky. There's no sign of environmental damage and it doesn't matter how much you pay it's not going to make it any better. Pretty. Why do you think Australia is introducing a carbon tax when all the other countries are moving away from the concept? We're backwards. Are we backwards or are we further thinking they haven't caught up yet? No, it's backwards. We're backwards. Yeah, we're backwards. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. Well, I think businesses we're seeing already that uh, businesses are being uh, are kind of bracing and job losses. But I think the average person, I guess they're they're actually allowing families and they're they're giving extra money to families. But for people that don't have kids, I think they're going to people people about my age, about 30 years old, who have got a who have got a mortgage mm -hmm. and don't have kids, are kind of the forgotten people in this carbon tax. So do you think I agree with that? Yeah. I also don't have children. I'm sort of in the same boat. I don't yeah. see any benefits in the subsidies or the no. family assistance packages. No. So it's the local sort of everyday Aussie that doesn't it get is. those assistant things that, yeah. that get hit hard. Yeah. Now if the Liberal or the National Government win the next federal election, do you think they're going to repeal the carbon tax? No, I think it's like GST. Once it's in, it's in. I like Just that. <laughs> I think Tony Abbott's certainly going to make a lot of political miles out of um, saying he's going to abolish it. But when he gets in, I mean, probably it's going to be a bit, bit too far gone by then, I would say. 
Sort of like the GST, once it's in, it's in. I think once it's in, it'll be in, yeah, for sure. Uh, look, I don't know about big ears there. I think, um, you know, things, yeah, I think he's just playing the game. When he gets in, it'll be sort of, you know, back to square one again. He'll, he'll want his little two bobs worth and he'll get it all wrong. Ah, uh, no. No, do you no. think Abbott will keep it up there? Yeah, definitely. All politicians are liars. <laughs> There has been one once or twice where a politician has, has promised something and hasn't delivered. Just once or twice? Yeah, well I'm a Victorian Oh, I was going to say, I want to know, <laughs> what elections are you watching? <laughs> He'll do what he's got to do to get in there and then the, we've seen it time and time again. Once they get in there, they do their thing and stuff the people anyway. Do you think that if Abbott did come into power though, do you think he'd abolish the carbon tax? Mm. Possibly, but then, you know, what else? He says he will, what, but what you know, they all talk a lot of shit. destroy the rest of them. <laughs> You're, You're watching, watching me, me on Aussie Beach, Beach TV. TV. <laughs>